When I first built my PC, one of the parts that I did leave out was an SSD. I thought it couldn't make that much of a difference, but after a few months of long boots and slow loading times, I decided to look into one. And because I didn't really want to break the bank, I didn't really look at M.2 or NVMe drives because they were just so expensive. But when I saw Intel's new 600p SSD on sale, I thought I'd found exactly what I was looking for. But did I? Hey guys, it's Charles from Tech Always, and today I'm going to be reviewing Intel's 600p M.2 NVMe SSD. So let's get right into it. So starting things off, this drive comes in 128, 256, 512, and 1024 gigabyte options, all with slightly different theoretical read and write speeds, which are being displayed on the screen right now. These drives fit the 80 millimeter M.2 standard size, so they are extremely tiny and sadly have a green PCB, which can make them stand out in your system if your M.2 slot is exposed on your motherboard. Because this is an M.2 NVMe drive, it should be extremely fast, and it is, as you can see it being compared to this traditional spinning hard drive. One area where this drive has a few issues is in large sequential write tests. As you can see, I ran the crystal disk mark test at 1GB and 8GB um, file sizes, and the write speeds were cut in half during the 8GB test. But these are just synthetic tests, so I decided to run a few real-world tests as well. I moved my GTA 5 files from my SSD to hard drive and back so I can compare write speeds on the two drives. During the transfer, the hard drive hovered around 110 to 130 megabytes per second with spikes up to 150, while the 600p was around 200 megabytes per second for the first 15 gigabytes of transfer, but then it slowed down and started jumping from 20 megabytes to over, to over 300 megabytes and was extremely inconsistent and just kept going up and down, which confirms that this drive does struggle with large writes, which is pretty disappointing. To take a look at the real world read speeds, I load up the GTA 5 single player from the hard drive and the SSD and record the time it took from, to get to the game from the main menu. The spinning hard drive loaded the game up in 46 seconds, while a 600p did this in 31 seconds, so here you can see a noticeable difference with the SSD. While this SSD is pretty nice, I don't think that I would recommend it to people. Even though it has blazing fast read and write speeds on small files, as the files get larger, the speeds sig drop significantly, which is very disappointing, as it isn't that doesn't happen on other SATA SSDs, even though their speeds on smaller files are slower. This is also disappointing because it means we probably won't get a good M.2 NVMe drive f at a good price for a couple more years, which is very disappointing. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you didn't, leave a comment down below as to why, and I'll try and fix it in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.